pr proud of the effort of our players tonight. Um, I thought it was important that we start the game uh, and set the tempo early on. And to have a senior like Cornelder make an interception on the first drive of the game, I think is, is what you want your older guys, your experienced guys to do. And I think the other guys fed on that. Um, I was very impressed with the way we played up front. I think what we wanted to be is a defense in terms of the way we're getting our feet across the line of scrimmage, being disrupted, making plays in the backfield. They looked for most of the game that they had a hard time uh, getting the ball back to the line of scrimmage against our rush defense. I felt like there was a time in the second period where we lost our focus. I thought our tackling started to slip um, a little bit and we challenged them at halftime um, to play to our standard. I thought in the second half, regardless of the people we rolled in and out the game, I thought they did a good job finishing the game. We played a ton of people tonight. Um, we, we were on the field for the, 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 the very unusual night with the rushing yard disparity and the time of possession disparity. So we played most of the night on defense. So our depth was tested very early on, and I thought uh, I was very proud of the guys uh, that weren't out there the first play of the game, our, our, our backups, who played like starters for most of the night. Questions? Okay, how tough was it for you to not get wrapped up in the emotion of the first game here and all those good things and just kind of stay focused on the test? You know, when, um, when the bus pulls into the parking lot and you, and you saw the crowd, you saw, and we had an outstanding cane walk, at that moment, you know, it, 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 can, it can tug on you a little bit. But uh, once you're out there and um, and they put that ball on the tee, it's it's just big ball, you know, and, and it's just it's just getting those guys, you know, and just and just that 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 just we we see the attack from the guys, just the way we pursue the football, you know. And I, I thought, like I said, the way we started the game was very pleasing. Manny, what'd you see from the third quarter? You guys held them to negative yards. What'd you see from your defense that quarter? Well, that's what we challenged them, you know, because it, it, at halftime, you know, you have to be able to handle success the same way to handle adversity. So, you know, the, the scoreboard favored us. We looked guys on the win at the half, but, but we, we put that away. We put the scoreboard away. We said it's a new game. Uh, let's go out there and just play to our standard. Because we did, like I said, we, there were some things in the second quarter we weren't proud of. Um, and so for all the guys that went in, even though, I mean, the, if it's not the last drive of the game, just to continue to go in, uh, create, create the, ne the negative plays and keep it on the scoreboard was, uh, was very telling because a lot of those guys are going to have to play larger and larger roles as the natural adversity of the season wears on. We're, we're, we're going to need what we have depth-wise. We are limited, but everybody we have, they saw tonight that we need them. Coach, you were very animated when Corm made the pick. <coughs> There's got to be a backstory to that. Can you explain, is that, was that emblematic of what we want them to play, or just the tone, the tempo? I'm just, I'm just happy. happy to see you. I'm just happy. You know, <laughs> when you were halfway into the end zone almost. <laughs> well, I, I, I wish Corm was halfway with, with the ball. No, you know, because, um, I think you have to understand it's 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 a long off season, you know, and you sit around and, 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 and you visualize this day for a long time, you know, and uh, and then you want you you want the best for your players, you know, and so a guy like Corn, who we've really challenged since we've been here, we knew he had to play his best ball for us to have a chance, and so the first third down of the season, you know, I mean, for a guy like Corn to make that play, you're just, you know, there's so many different emotions, but the biggest emotion is you're just so happy for him, you know, because that's that's. That's what you would, if you could dream it up, that's what you want to happen on the first third down. You want your senior, one of your leaders in your secondary to step up and make that play. So there's a lot of emotions. It's, it, it is, it's, it's, this is football now. It's, fun. it's supposed to be fun, right? So defense is supposed to be fun. Along those lines, Adrian Colbert, um, I believe that's the first pick of his career. You can probably correct me. I, I, I don't know. But, but anyway, first of his hard case career, obviously. How special is that? Yeah, and, and, and uh, that's going to be one for his confidence. I mean, it's his first game. He's a senior, right? Fifth, fifth year senior, first ever game at corner. You know, so for him to be able to make a play like that and, and, and a hard ball, that was a 50 50 ball, uh, deep down the field where they're trying to take a shot and score a touchdown, that's outstanding for us because, again, where, where, where do we have the experience? Where do we have at least the age is in our secondary. So our guys in the secondary, I thought Carter and Jenkins, even though they didn't have the interceptions, I thought they did a nice job of tackling. Jaquan Johnson, I thought our, I thought our secondary tackled. Which is what we challenged them to do all off season, and we have to just get now. There's a million things we have to fix, but we the things that we had to have, the aggression, the pursuit, and the tackling. I was pleased with tonight. Coach, your voice is up. Pretty shot. Is that first game excitement, or is this going to be an in every game uh, thing? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to assess me at week in week out. But yeah, it was. Uh, there's a lot of instruction. I mean, just you know, a lot of instruction, a lot of praise, a lot of corrections going on when you're out there. Manny, what's it mean to you at this stage of your career to have a, a head coach that's placing the level of trust 
that he's placing you and just say you run the defense. I'm not really going to touch it much. And, well, you know. I think it's indicative of, of the way he treats the entire program. I, th I think that's why our players love playing for him. I think I know it's why his coaches love coaching for him because he trusts all of his coaches. He trusts he trusts his tight ends coach coaches tight ends coaches is, is safeties coach coaches safeties. He trusts his players to behave like grown men, you know. And and I, and I think our players are rising up to the level of expectation that he's setting upon them. So for me, I'm just a small cog in, in that big wheel. So. That, but that was, but I knew that going in. That's why, it not it was not just about again the opportunity to coach at, at you know home, but to work for Mark Brick was it was a was a big part of this. Coach, even though this was even though this was one side, how valuable is it to help on the final down having to take your guys and have somebody? Back? Yeah, you got to get into a game and have somebody ask you questions. We see things in the game today that we had not seen uh, from our offense, different formations, motions, things like that. And like I said, when we watch the tape now, the players are gonna be horrified because there's gonna be a lot of things. That we didn't like, that we don't like about it, but now you finally have something to fix. You can tell them every day in practice. And they're like, "I hear you, coach. I hear you." And they see in the game, like, "Oh yeah, we left that guy wide open." So now, okay, now I get it. You know, and you make game corrections. Good football teams usually make a big jump from week one to week two. Okay, we understand that our, our opponent next week will be a tougher out than this opponent was. It's imperative. Okay, but we're gonna get patted on the back the next 24 hours. It's imperative that we come back. With the mentality that we have got to improve off of this performance next week. Coach, how about the play of the interior defense line? Uh, I think uh, Kendrick played blew up a lot of plays in the back. Yeah, the slings. I thought they were. I thought they were really disruptive. All the guys that went in, because again, we don't have very many guys in there. So uh, uh, Portell, Ryan Fines, uh, Kendrick, McIntosh, those guys, they just came in in waves. I thought Coach Gould did a good job of trying to roll all those guys in up front to keep them um, fresh as possible. But uh, but that's where it starts. In the 4-3 defense, it starts with the defensive tackles. And the, the question I had going in was, would we really go and disrupt? Or would game one, would we kind of still stand around and be unsure? And for what it looked like, at least on field level, it looked like we, we, we went. Jaquan Johnson, do you have him doing a lot of things that you were going to do with Grace in, in, in passing situations? We, no, we did not play. Uh, we didn't play uh, any nickel defense or anything like that today. Jaquan played his role at safety. We, we, we had a dime package in that, that he featured in. But that was, no, no, no our, our plan stayed the way they were one week ago. Yes? The, the uh, three freshman linebackers, uh, tell us about them a little bit. What do you think? It's crazy. You walk, you're walking on the field before the game, you have no idea what to expect. You really have no idea. But um, I was really proud of them. That, that is not very easy to do. Because there's no one, there's, there's no one you can even look to, hey, what, how are we, we going to do this? You know. And I thought the way that they communicated with each other, um, Early on, you could tell the, the the download speed was a little bit slower. But uh, you know, the first thing we we're going to judge ourselves about was rushing defense at, at the, in the linebacker room. And and obviously, I thought the way we played the run uh, was a was a, a testament to the way that those guys played. And, 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 and like I said, in, in, in a situation that you don't see very often. All right, last question, guys. It seemed like you trust them on passing downs too. We're talking about Fordham and Bentley, they were in there a lot on passing downs. Yeah. Well, is that more so their athleticism or just them in coverage? All of the above. They're good football players. See, you know, third down, you want your best players in the game. Those guys are good football players. But also, a lot of it's, you know, we don't have a lot of options. You know, you, you kind of look at the line, and we sort of, we got what we got. Uh, so, but those guys all play well on, on normal downs and on passing downs. Thank you all very much. Thank you.